Today's show is all about giving thanks or thanksgiving. Right. You know, it's always really important to, no matter what time of the year it is, to give a little gift of thanks when someone's done something really nice for you. Really, one time a year we think about Thanksgiving because of the holiday. It um, is food related mm -hmm. and uh, gathering a family, which is great. But we just want to remind everyone, everyone that you can give thanks all throughout the year. Right, and it's really, um, you know, think about it ahead of time too. If you make these little gifts, uh, like in groups, you always have something to say thank you to people. So today, I'm actually using a paper plate. You know, I've used paper plates a lot for the look of paper sculpture. So today, I have a really cool flower. Take a look. For today's project, I'm using a paper plate, and you want to get the kind that has a really nice flute to it, and I know they're hard to find, but they are out there, and uh, choose the ones, because you'll get a, a better petal for your flowers. Also have some buttons, some embroidery floss, we're going to use a skewer stick for our stem, and you need some craft foam and I am using the Aline's Original Tacky Glue in the Gold Bottle. For each plate, you can get about three flowers out of it, and you're going to use the inside for the leaves and for the centers to build up the, the actual flower. So be sure you draw those on because you don't want to go in and cut that area. And then you're going to start cutting your petals, and it's really, really simple, and I just go around the whole a uh, plate and I I cut go in I cut go in and just kind of round that edge on the on each flute super simple and then I turn it after I go all the way around I turn it over and I do the same thing just round it and then Come back, round it, oops, and that one I cut all the way really good. Let's go back and cut these. And you need, for the fuller flower, I think you need about, I think it was about 20 petals. So I have a bunch of them cut out here, bring them in here, like so, and you can see how these are all cut, and here's my center cut out from the middle of my um, plate, and I used a template that was one inch circle. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue around the outside edge, because I'm going to do one um, row on the outside and one on, on top of that. And you just start putting it, the petals, each petal into the glue. Making sure that it does get some glue on it. If it doesn't, then add a little bit of glue onto the back of it. And for this particular flower, the petals are cupped going upward. It looks like I could use a little bit more glue here. Keep those petals pretty close together. And then we start our next row. And if you find that the next row, that some of these won't fit, then just cut them to fit. Super simple. We're going to be covering that center with a, um, a couple of buttons. And remember, you don't need very much. A little bit of glue goes a long ways. That was a little long too. And it looks 
looks like I can probably fit one more there. Okay, now I have some wonderful buttons, and these are from um, Bloomingthal Lansing. And I'll just select a few. I line them up and put a little bit of the glue on the end so we can create it like a needle. We're going to go down through the button, first button, and then the next button, and then come up through the hole. Go up through the next button. And again, this would be fun with any color. It would be fun to do all different colors. Simply tie a knot. Tie them together. And I just cut them off, oh, maybe a quarter of an inch. And that's going to be my center. Let's put a little bit of glue on the back of it. Put it in the center. And I'm going to set that aside for just a few minutes so we can do the leaves. For the leaves, I have some craft foam because I'm going to score them. Now remember, we cut this out of the center. So I'm using a stylus. It's the little tool that has a little ball on the end of it. And this is going to make it look like it's paper sculpture. It's been embossed. And if you have that craft foam underneath, it gives enough to give you that uh, embossed look. See how that looks? Isn't that cool? Now I've taken a skewer stick and I painted it white with white acrylic paint and I wrap this so that it will form around there. Put a little bit of glue. And if you want to just hold it, help hold it, just put a um, clothes pin. For the words, you just print them on your computer and print them over to the right so that you can use the, the whole strip and it'll be on the side that you want. Just cut it out and then turn it over. We're going to put some glue on the back of it and use a small piece of cardboard or paper plate and just squeegee the glue. Place it over the stick and line it up. And trim it. Take this off. And your leaves have been glued on. Now also what you can do is you can take your pinking shears and do a little edge and it's, it's a double cut. You go cut once and then you go back and cut. And you have your leaves. Now let's take a look at the finished flower. You're going to glue the flower to the end of the stick. And you are all ready for the perfect project to say thank you. Heidi, these are adorable. Aren't they fun? And they're just, they're so easy to do. They're with things that you have around the house 
and um, just make a bunch of them up. Even if you just gave a whole bunch of them, wouldn't it be cool to have just a whole bunch of these flowers in like a pot that you can say thanks to someone? And you could say thank you and then you could give all the reasons why you love them mm -hmm. <laughs> and adore them. And again, we don't need to think about it just for thanks. Think about it for other things during the year. Happy birthday, you know, for your coworkers, just to have a cute little thank you or a happy birthday so that they could put it on their desk. And even if you just take a little clay pot, put a styrofoam ball into mm -hmm. it, put a little moss on it, mm -hmm. quick and easy, you can paint it if you want to, put a little ribbon on, pop this down in, adorable. And inexpensive. Mm -hmm. I love how you've done the embossing onto the paper plate too. It makes yeah. it look so elegant. Yeah, it looks like paper sculpture. Thank you so much. Oh, that's what it says. <laughs>